Hey, welcome everybody. I'm Katrina Sawa and with jumpstartpublishing.net and I'm bringing you another set of authors that is so amazing. This book is called Her Badass Story. And boy, oh boy, I have read all the chapters and there are some badasses in this book, let me tell you. <laughs> and the majority, almost all of them are here today on this video to share everything. Well, not everything, because you got to read the book on November 23rd. It comes out live on Amazon and we are doing a book launch on the 23rd, which is Thanksgiving week. And you need to watch their emails, watch their social media posts, and please buy the book for them to help make them an international bestseller. So I'm going to turn it over to look. Dr. Lori Monaco, who is the compiler of this and the brainchild of her badass story. And she's going to tell you what, what inspired her to do this book and then introduce you to all her authors. Well, hi, everyone. Um, I'm glad to be here. Um, my name is Dr. Lori Monaco. My uh, business is Align Yourself, Inc. I am also known as the Badass Buddha. And I got that name because I finally woke up from my life coma a few years back and stepped into um, my life and started owning myself and um, became the badass in my life. And so became a very suiting, uh, a, you know, a, a fitting rather um, name. Anyway, um, my, I decided to write this book because I've always been very fascinated by people's stories and just hearing, you know, one story and then another story of how people just overcame odds and challenges in their lives and not just overcame and got through it, but then also changed their lives as a result of it. You know, companies were born, um, organizations were created from tragedies that people suffered. Um, you know, new ideas were, were created and problems were even solved. And, you know, some stories were so small, but, but even though they might've been small, they were still so significant. And then some were just crazy, like crazy to think like how these individuals could have, could have gotten past this. And so I thought, I mean, I wanted to do this for quite some time, I even want to have a TV show of just sharing people's stories, you know, and I decided to come out with this book um, and get authors to share their personal stories of from trauma to triumph to transformation. Mine in particular, uh, my chapter is called the awakening. And it talks about um, how I woke I'll keep it clean, how I woke the F up uh, a few years back and, and really finally got out of the funk that um, I was in, you know, having had depression for the better part of my adult life and finally getting past it. So that's what my chapter is all about. Is that good? You want me to say anything? Yeah, else? No, that's great. Now introduce each one of your authors. Why don't you um, just point them out and let them share what they know about. Them. All right. We're going to go with Miss Karen K.L. Malley. How about you first? Well, thank you, Dr. Lori. So my name is Karen Malley and my business is your power, your health, nutrition and health coaching. And so I am a nutrition and health coach. And the name of my chapter is called Controlling the Outcome. And the reason I wrote this, this chapter or contributed to this book is number one, because Lori asked me to, and I will do almost anything for Lori. And we've never actually even met in person, but well, she's we're soul sisters. We're we soul are sisters. soul sisters. We absolutely are. And, but, the, but another reason that I wrote this chapter is because I think that my story can help other people because as Brene Brown kind of tells us in everything that she writes, shame lives in the dark and thrives in the dark. And when you shed light on it, it dissolves. So it's really about allowing that shame to be lit up so that it goes away. And my, since my childhood had a lot of shame in it, I have come through that. It certainly informed a lot of my adult life. But as a result of having kind of faced that head on, taken on my challenges, I've, I've found a way to help other people do the same thing. And that's really what I hope this chapter will do for people is to realize that they're not alone because being alone and feeling very isolated in your situation is probably the worst thing, but you're not. A lot of us have been through it and we're here to help you shepherd you through the, pro the process. And that's, what I, and that's why I did this. Fabulous, great. Thank you, Karen. Thanks, thank you, Lori, for letting me be part of this project. Thank you. I'm so glad, I'm so thrilled actually. I'm thrilled that all of you were a part of this chat, of this, this book. So thank you all for contributing. You're all very brave and courageous for what you've shared. You're very vulnerable. Um, and that's exactly what I envisioned for the book. So 
Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, up next, I don't know, let's see. How about Kelly? Kelly, you wanna go next? Sure, hi, my name is Kelly Surrett um, and I am a musical theater composer and writer and a mom of two loud girls who might be making a little bit of noise in the background there, but they're here in, in spirit with us, you know, cheering us on. Um, and uh, my chapter is called Fly Anyway. And I wrote this chapter because I wanted to inspire people who are scared in their life, or I mean, not even just scared, maybe so terrified that they're just so stuck and, and standing still and immobile because, you know, they can't, quite get out of where they are to learn how to tolerate that fear, live with that fear and still overcome it and learn to fly anyway. Um, so that is what my chapter is about. And I hope that it um, brings a lot of people some inspiration and also the same as Karen to help you know that you're not alone, but you can tolerate that fear and overcome it and still fly in your life and soar in fact. So thank you. Thank you for sharing. And that's, again, that's the whole theme of this. This, the theme of the, this book is to, to get, to let everybody know out there that you're not alone, that everybody has a story. And sometimes we think our story is the worst one out there. And then we read somebody else's story and we're like, okay, that's not so bad, but it's still your story and it still affected you. And it affected all of us. Our stories affected all of us. And so that's why it's really important to read these and to be empowered by them. And that's the goal of this book. All right, how about Real Deal Chenille? Hey, 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 everyone. Thank you, Badass. Um, this has been a great journey. As Badass said, my name is, Sh well, Chenille Hernandez, but Chenille Real Deal, Real Deal Chenille, because I keep it real. And I think you will find that in my chapter, um, just like every all of us here with our brave stories, um, I wanted to get out there something that I needed to just put out and I worked so hard at it and it was almost taken away from me. My name of my chapter is Fight for Truth. And I thought um, it was just fitting for everything that's in there, a little bit of my life, a little bit where I came from, where I'm going. Um, I don't have my own business, but I plan on to continue to grow, grow the girls group that I started six years ago and make it national to help all women and teenagers out there who, who need mentoring, who just need this love that we have here, like this book, and just to continue to mentor our youth who, um, who need, especially during these times that have been really rough on a lot of girls and boys, of course, um, during a pandemic. And I think my story um, will help shine that light on folks that need it and children that need it and parents who need guidance with their children as well. Um, and right now I actually, I work for sales and marketing. I'm a trade uh, marketing manager for health and wellness products um, over the counter. And we're just here to share our lights with you. I'm very honored to be here. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Neil. Real deal. She really is the real deal. I know her personally, so she she really is. And I'm thrilled to have you in the book. All right, up next, Ms. Geronda. What is going on, everyone? My name is Geronda Wallach-Spiller. Um, I currently work for a uh, optometry consulting company where I am the HR services advisor, uh, but I also have a business, a speaking business, where I um, do speaking keynotes and workshop facilitation for young adults in the LGBTQ plus community so that they can feel confident and courageous um, and just feeling equipped to tackle any life challenges, the, which goes into the title of my book, which is Freedom of Shame. And the reason why I wrote this chapter and what you'll get from it is because you unexpectedly will go through situations in your life and it's challenging to know how to face them, even if you are LGBTQ or not. And there are going to be people in your life that you would never anticipate would compromise or impact your identity and how you feel about your authentic self. And so this chapter goes through my experience in that and how I have finally come to where I am today, which is 100 and 50% my authentic self. And so you'll get a really great questionnaire at the end that really helps you um, get to that place and, and realizing, am I living in my truth every single day? And that could be challenging, especially for the LGBTQ plus community, which I am a part of. Um, I am married, I have three fur babies. I won't go into what their names are and everything, but they're adorable. And um, 
and yeah, it's just been a really great experience to be able to go through this and share my story and the vulnerability that came with it. Um, my story goes pretty deep. And so I did that on purpose to let people just understand that you can overcome anything in your life if you just take the steps to focus on yourself and what you need and you find that community that really is there to help you. So um, last thing I'll say is the premise for me was I'm now taking the work that I do and being the support for the community um, in hopes that, or actually to, to give more light into the support I wish I had to find myself. Um, so super honored to be here. I love Lori to death. So thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. Thank you, Geronda. And I do want to point out too, that, you know, again, everybody keeps saying little pieces that the book is really is the heart of the book. It's that authenticity, you know, until you really own your story and, and good, bad, and ugly, and then you realize what you need to change in your life about yourself and then what you need to keep. I mean, that's being the most authentic, um, the, the most authentic version of yourself. And each story really centers around that, a bit about stepping up to being the absolute best version of yourself and uh, making whatever changes are necessary. So thank you, Geronda, for, for being a part of this. All right, Dr. Melissa, you're up. Okay, so I am Dr. Melissa Balizan and um, uh, my website is drmelissabalizan.com. The name of my business is Ask Dr. Melissa. So I like to answer questions. I am your problem solver. I am also called the root cause doctor by my patients. So um, one of the things that I think is very important is to get to the root cause. The name of my chapter is called Stress Kills. And I wrote this because I think being, especially in the healthcare profession, a lot of people think all oh, the doctors and everybody has it all together. Well, that's not the case. Um, and if you're one of the healthcare professionals, you've probably been through some kind of struggle. Um, we, we've put up a good front. And so I wrote this chapter um, based upon, you know, my personal experience of going through and the challenges within the healthcare system that we go through sometimes. And so it really does um, go deep and it's very vulnerable. And so make sure you get a copy and, and read it and, and you can learn more. Um, but if you, you know, you do want to get to the root cause, you want to understand what's going on. Um, I'm also your Eastern and Western medicine specialist, your concierge pharmacist. So let's, um, you know, ditch the pills. Is it time? So make sure you read the book. Thanks, Dr. Melissa. You are fabulous. She really is and definitely catch her shows. She's got She's a wealth of information, and I'm so happy to have you in the book. So thank you so much for being a part of it. All right, Miss Noel. Hi, my name is Noel Sanborn. Um, I am currently a front-end administrator for an osteopathic and naturopathic office, which I love. And I am also a writer and soon to be published writer, which is very exciting. Um, I'm super grateful to Lori for bringing me into this opportunity. It's something I've always wanted to do and I haven't really uh, felt brave enough to do it yet, but it's been really amazing to be part of this with all these amazing women who are doing amazing things. Uh, my story is about trauma and sort of how to sort of a cautionary tale of what not to do in the aftermath of an acute trauma. And um, as I explain in my story, it's pretty interesting how much you can kind of get in your own way of healing. And uh, especially when you're the one who's always offering advice or you're a caretaker, you put yourself last. And it's this is definitely a cautionary tale of what not to do so that you can put yourself uh, first in this process and make sure that you get the help that you need. And I did infuse it with some humor to make it a little more palatable, but uh, yeah, that's my story. And I'm gonna continue to write, which I'm really psyched about, and I hope this is helpful. And I want others to write their story. So I have some writing prompts available on my website and it's noellewritesthings.com. And that's it. Thank you, Noel. Thank I you. think, you know, I think you said something really key. You said that we get in our own way. And um, I think for, if, if not for all the stories, 
that was at one point where we all were, where we were just, we were so caught up in our headspace and, and what we believed in our, uh, ourselves to be. And we got in our own way and did not step into our greatness. So thank you for bringing that up. And thank you for being a part of this project. Thank you. All right. Miss Sharice is up. Unmute, unmute. You got to unmute. You're still muted. There we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> I'm like, already. All right. So I want to tell you, Dr. Lori, thank you so much. Thank everyone. Katrina, thank you for putting up with some of the things I had to go through, but I appreciate everything, um, this opportunity. I am, of course, a nurse practitioner by trade and I'm mental health, and I needed to do this book um, to heal. I am always giving everyone else the opportunity to heal and I'm telling them what to do and how to do it. And they think I'm the best thing since white bread. And then I'm like, oh my God, I need to heal also. And so I had to be real with this and it's time. So when Lori, uh, Dr. Lori gave us the opportunity, I jumped on it. Um, my small chapter is about going from selfish to selfless. And this basically, the foundation took place in my early 20s. And I think most of us are very selfish in our 20s because we're trying to figure out who we are. But the things that we go through, you know, they either make or break us. And so there were decisions I had to make and I had to grow up pretty quickly. So maybe I'm a little biased, but I think our book is the epitome of, um, of the compilation because all of us came together um, and shared our stories, but when it comes down to it, it's about healing, growing, and overcoming. And that's what I think, like, we are really, really bad A's about that. So thank you so much. <laughs> and I can't wait to, for it to come out and everyone to support us. Thank you. You're so cute. You couldn't even say the last part of the bad, the, the I, bad A's. Yeah. I love it. That, you're so cute. <laughs> You can still be a badass and not have to say the word. I yes, promise. you can. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Sharice, for being a part of this. It's Thank been you. a pleasure having you on the project. Honestly, I love it. Um, and up, last but not least, Margarita. Come on up. Unmute yourself, girl. Sorry. Hello, beautiful ladies. Sorry that I'm late, but I am here. You know, I'm always on time. So yes. What are the questions? I sent um, it to you in a text. Just, just now, introduce way. yourself. Introduce yourself. Introduce your business, the name of your chapter, and why you uh, decided to be a part of it. And do it in a minute, girl. Okay. Hello. My name, my legal name is Margarita Chapman, but my author name is Margarita de Margarita, which means I belong to me. The, what do I do? I'm a sacred healer, life coach, and end-of-life doula. I am a proud coffee roaster, and my business is like it's whispers, me time, which means that we as women, mothers, we take care of everything, and we never take out me time. We never take out that healing, selfless moment of the day, whether it's 10, 15 minutes, just to honor ourselves for everything that we do. So that's the message in Cricket's Whisper, but it's also an apparel and accessory line as well. Um, my chapter is called Magically, Unapologetically Courageous, I believe, or Magically Orgasmic. I don't even remember. Nope, unapologi uh, unapologetically courageous. Unapologetically courageous. What made me write this? Well, this is something that happened 34 years ago. And... I just felt it was time when I was asked to join this project by the Badass Buddha. I was like trying to figure out what story haven't I told and what story will resonate with women that will help them come out of shame, pain, and guilt. So I wrote about the abortion that I had um, when I was raped. And it was kind of difficult. I thought that it was behind me, but it triggered a lot of unshed tears that finally came forth. So I did a lot of healing in the process. And I write how I knelt and I prayed for forgiveness. But don't give away too much. We want them to read it. So don't give away too much. We just wanted you to say why you did it. We don't want you well, to give. I did it because it's time. And when we talk about healing, when we teach other, 
women how to heal, how to go back, rip that scab that never really formed properly because we held on to it and just purge. I had to do the same thing because it was something that that we hold and we push and we push down and then we want to be saviors for everybody. Well, I, I came to the point now at this age, which this is my favorite age, um, to do the same exact thing and heal from a moment in my life where I was alone and I felt that I was the villain in my life. And it was time to say, I'm not a victim nor the villain. It was something that happened to me. And I just, for some, I don't even know how the courage came up at the moment where I needed to be there for me. So I want this story to be there for other women to let them know it's okay. You were not alone. And it's time to heal and let go of that guilt and that shame that's preventing you from love, from loving unconditionally and wholeheartedly where you stand right now, because those kind of things hinder us from loving completely Wonderful. because we're not loving ourselves. And that's what that's about. So Wonderful. I hope I did it enough in a meeting because, you know, I love to talk. <laughs> Wonderful. And thank you so much for being a part of this. We, this has been absolutely great. And I think we got everybody, right? I think we, we, we got everybody, right? So what's yeah. next? You know. This is pretty powerful. I mean, so I've I've never done one of these videos where all the authors actually showed up. So I applaud you guys for really making the time to make this an amazing, not only book, I mean, but the video here, because all of you are going to be sharing this book, not only on launch day, but forever, right? It's your first book, I think, for all of you. And um, not for all of you. Okay, almost all of you. <laughs> and so it is one of your many books, because uh, there's more in all of you, I think. And so we're excited to have this book coming out on November 23rd. Uh, please, please help them and support them by buying the ebook on Amazon that day. We'll give you all the links that day. So please be watching their emails or social media. And if you see it, just buy it and read it and get, you know, pass it on if you need to, uh, whatever you need to. The print book will be out shortly after that. And then, of course, um, if you're watching this video a long time from now, uh, it's probably on their web pages or whatnot. They just want to get to know you and reach out to them because I'm sure any of these authors would love to have a conversation with you if their story touched your heart or anything like that. So uh, thanks again, Lori and uh, all the authors and good luck on the 23rd. I know we're going to rock it and her badass story is going to be a bestseller. I can feel it. <laughs> Sounds good. Bye. Bye, everybody. Buy the book. Buy the book. Buy the book.